just like lay, laying there and I'm just like praying like, God, like, please let me be able to see after this. A former Olympic volleyball player is recovering tonight after she was brutally beaten. Former Olympian Kim Glass said she was walking with a friend when a homeless man suddenly attacked her. Well, bystanders helped her and held that man down until police arrived. KKL 9's Joy Benedict is live in downtown LA where the attack happened. She's got her terrifying story. Joy? Yeah, Pat, I mean, just a horrific experience for anyone to go through. But on this particular day, it was Kim Glass, the former Olympian here downtown at this corner of Olive and 8th. She had just finished lunch with a friend. She was outside on the sidewalk when she was attacked. And she is speaking out today simply because she wants to try and make sure this doesn't happen to anyone else. These are so pretty. With a smile that lights up the room, former Olympian Kim Glass is overwhelmed by the outpouring of support from friends and strangers. Well, first of all, my mom always said I had a hard head. So, <laughs> but when you are a victim of a crime, the emotions can change quickly. My sister was like, he could have killed you. And I guess I don't look at it like that because he didn't. But he could have. Glass was viciously attacked by a homeless man downtown on Friday in the middle of the day. He looked at me like with like rage in his eyes. She says she saw him coming, turned to warn a friend, and that's when he threw a construction bolt at her head. And I just fell to the ground, right? And I fall to the ground, my phone falls on the ground, and all of a sudden, blood's just squirting everywhere. And I'm just like praying like, God, like, please let me be able to see after this. Good Samaritans came to her aid, and this man even held down the suspect until police arrived. But as she has learned more about her attacker, she can't help but also be angry. It shouldn't have to take for people to die for us to make change, you know? And I honestly don't know what the full answer is, but what we're doing right now isn't it? Police say her attacker is Simeon Tasfamarian. He was charged with assault with a deadly weapon, but did not appear in court because of possible mental illness. He was homeless, and this wasn't his first offense. At the time of the attack, he was on parole for assault. I feel bad for him because, you know, I don't know, I just feel bad for him still. You can still feel for someone and still feel like they need to be held accountable and he needs to be held accountable. She has multiple stitches, severe bruises to her face, and broken bones. Right here in my orbital bone, I have multiple fractures. But still, she has hope. He almost took me away from my family. It's like the most important thing in the world to me, you know? And so, but God knew I wasn't finished. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like. He knew that I have something to do, I think, and I'm trying to figure what that is out. But for now, she is just thankful to be able to tell her story and for those who jumped in to make sure she could. It's so beautiful to all the people that helped me. I'm, I'm really grateful for them all. Very tough story to hear. Now, Kim Glass, and she's no longer playing professional volleyball. She works as a personal trainer as well as a fitness model. Things she cannot do right now since this attack. As for that suspect, um, he will appear in court again after a mental evaluation. If convicted, he faces up to 11 years in prison. Guys. Oh, thank you, Joy. Mm. That story was so hard to hear. Mm. But